The next thing was, I lost an engine part. What is up machines? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling great. I hope life is moving like a well-oiled machine. For me, I'm kind of stressed out. This guy popped up overnight or this morning something. I'm a little stressed out about work, but we're gonna put that stress to the side. If any of you have any stress or worries right now, push that off to the side for the next couple minutes. Enjoy this 3D Machines production. We're gonna kick some butt today. Have you noticed the new floor? Holy crap, I'm looking at it in the camera for the first time. That looks phenomenal. So much more lightage. I like lightage, I love lightage. The lightage is phenomenal. I couldn't do that spot, because as you can see, I had all my stuff there. And then I couldn't really do this corner either, so I'm gonna have to move some of this and then paint that as well. This stuff had to sit for 24 hours without me touching it, without me coming in here, and it was kind of hard because I like working on this thing. I like this whole environment. It's, it's amazing here. So this whole week's been kind of stressful. Uh, a couple things haven't gone exactly according to plan, but that's okay because that's just how life is. Life is full of chaos. See, just drop something. You had to prove my point, didn't you? This bag has the governor to this engine. The governor, you know, keeps this engine at about 35, 3600 RPM. It doesn't allow the engine to go over that. But now that this guy's out of there, now we have no limitations. I don't like any limitations. You machines don't like any limitations. If somebody says you can't do something, that's when you gotta prove them that they're wrong. Don't try to pull me down. Don't try to drag me down. I won't have any of that. I guess I'm just gonna come up with a gator parts bin. That's a new parts bin. Okay, Dalton, so what were your mishaps? Well, the first one was the 72 hour sale with the t-shirts, the, the hoodies. That all went really, really good, but we did run out of the mirror decals, so those are on special order. The next thing was, I lost an engine part. It's not good when you lose an engine part. It actually really sucks when you lose an engine part. <laughs> It's officially gone. I looked high, I looked low, I looked far, I looked wide, couldn't find anything. It was a washer that went inside the engine, it kind of looked like that. Just skinnier and a bigger hole. Ah, oh, we didn't need that. Weight reduction, I guess. Oh yeah, and did I forget to mention? They don't sell that part. I take my car on the first rip ever on the new paint job and check out what it did. It scarred it all up. No, I'm just kidding, but it made it all dirty. What the hey? Well, at least it's a machine. Whatever you rip, rip a machine. The pistons for this engine, I do believe, are in here. Jason was in charge of that, so hopefully, hey, you know what? That part might actually be in here. Man, this stuff stinks. This is the only option left. Nope, not in there either. I actually ordered another rod and piston for this engine, and that's actually sitting right here. The old rod was seized onto the crankshaft, so the rod was in bad shape. The crankshaft, however, was very, very nice. So I could only find the rod, the piston, and the rings all in one. I don't remember if this piston was on that rod or on the other rod, but this, this piston has a seized up uh, ring on it. Just because this piston's in better shape than that one, I do want to try and get this ring off. I don't want to scratch this thing up, so we have one last option, and that is to clean this up, throw in my ultrasonic cleaner, and hopefully the vibrations will take this ring off for us. That'd be awesome. First piston is done, clean rings are looking good. On a side note, Jake and I are hopefully hanging out tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I don't know why I had to bring that up. Oh, I know why, because we never see Jake the toilet snake. Jake, where are you? 
Get up to the shop, get up to the warehouse. It's a good time up here. Everything runs so smoothly. Just kidding, uh, you lose washers every once in a while. Well, well, sometimes there's complications, but we're gonna try to fix that. We're actually gonna, I'm actually gonna tear this whole engine apart. These washers would probably work perfectly. And if it's not the right hole, then I'll just drill a new hole. I wanna do this because I'm putting a supercharger on this or a turbocharger, whatever I choose to do. I ordered a supercharger, if that doesn't work, maybe a turbocharger. Who knows, anyways, it's gonna be awesome. So I want this thing to be built well so that it can take the power. That 50 cent washer is no longer a 50 cent washer. The washer I bought from the store, guess what it was called? Just, just guess, a machine washer. Now unfortunately, this machine washer didn't fit this machine. So that was really unfortunate. So I, it took me about 20 or 30 minutes to bore this hole out because I don't have an, because I don't have an, because I don't have an 11 16 drill bit. It was just like that. So we are no longer missing a piece. One step closer to being finished, let's, Finish this thing right now. Our flag is starless. We can't have a starless flag, not any longer at least. There's a lot of patriotism going on here. I just finished the flag, holy smokes, did that take a long time, but there it is. It is to scale, so not every single star is on there due to the runner situation, but like I said, it's to scale, so that's why it worked out that way. I could have just slapped 50 stickers on, but I wanted this thing to be amazing, I wanted it to be precise, and that's exactly what we have here. I'm equally excited to show you guys the new product on machinemerch.com. We got USA badges, baby. Look at all the USA we got. Like I said, these will be on machinemerch.com. Get them while you can. They're probably gonna run out of stock ASAP like that. And then even if we do run out, you still get it. It just takes a little longer. That's no big deal. Jake says he's going to come over tomorrow, which would be awesome because he hasn't been up here very often, especially on camera. So what the heck, Jake, get up here. And then I think Jason is coming the next day, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I hope I made you feel better. If you were down, if you were up, I hope you, I still made you feel better. Do good, do great, take on the world. Make that thing turn for you like a well-oiled machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, hit that like button, comment in the comment section below. We'll see you later. Oh,